everybody, it's Marie from Pear Tree Paper Crafts. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with my first layout of 2020 for Cut To You. So this one classes as an advertisement. Um, so I'm using this beautiful Family Is Forever cut file today. Um, and you'll notice from the pictures at the beginning of the video that my cut file looks slightly different to the one um, shown. And it's because I've used my Cricut um, to weld together two cut files. So I removed two of the hearts. Um, from the families forever and then I put the border on the top and the bottom I just love both cut files and I wanted to sort of combine them so rather than doing it um, by hand on the page I did do it digitally um, if anyone is interested in how I did that um, I'm happy to film um, a little uh, tutorial on how I welded them together on Cricut if anyone's interested so if you are just pop me a comment down below um, and I will have a go at doing that for you so all I'm doing right now um, is back in the cut file. Um, now this does take me quite a while because as you can see there's a lot of letters and then there's quite a lot of foliage as well. Um, but I do, um, I don't actually um, back all of the foliage, I just choose um, some bits of it. I often like to leave bits of cut file um, unbacked. I think it gives a really nice variety so you've got some that are backed and then some that aren't. So the papers I'm using are just a selection of papers that I've pulled out of my stash. They are Christmassy papers. Um, the photograph um, you will have seen that I'm scrapping is actually of myself and my husband and my son on Christmas Day this year um, in front of our um, Christmas tree. Um, just before, I think it's just before all the presents got opened. Um, so that's the photograph I'm scrapping. So I decided to use like Christmassy, um, wintry papers. They're all a bit snowflakey. You can see... Uh, the pink one to the left there that's uh, got snowflakes on and then little trees and then this one as well they look like white dots on here but they are actually little snowflakes um, and I just sort of randomly choose which letters um, to back in which colour um, cardstock so I do all the letters first and then I choose a few of the um, flowers and a bit of the foliage to back so it does take a while um, because the cut file itself is quite intricate as I've done it so I didn't want to recut it again on each colour to get all the pieces I wanted. So I just decided, right, I'm, I'm going to um, back it by hand. Um, so I don't make you watch all of it because it just takes me a while. And I do pop loads and loads and loads of dimensional foam on the back. So there you go, you can see it. I've sort of randomly chosen um, different colours of um, the papers to map the different parts with. So now I'm just going to use the same papers again. Um, to map my photograph. I'm just deciding what order to do that matting in and I do want to use the same ones and you can also see there across to the right that I have die cut um, with the same papers again um, lots of other foliage. Now that's a Sizzix set that I have and I think it's a Tim Holtz um, Sizzix uh, set of dies. I think there's either 11 or 14 in the packet um, loads of just different foliage and I just want to tuck those in so I cut loads of those out again I did that off camera because it does take a while to do so now I'm just matting my photo and I never mat straight anymore I do um, sort of just um, wonky them slightly um, so I'm just sort of guessing by eye and then using my uh, cutter filler just to trim it down to the right size and I'm just popping double sided sticky on the back there and just sort of almost letting it stick where it falls. And now this is the last one, which is this lovely um, pink and um, grey Christmas tree. So you'll have seen that the backing piece of paper is grey, completely grey. Um, with I think again with snow with little um, like snowfall on it. So it's gone very snowy. It wasn't snowing on Christmas Day at all. It never does here in the UK really. Um, I don't remember ever having a white Christmas actually. Um, so I'm just now popping some um, foam and double sided sticky, so I'm putting foam on the part where it's going to land on the grey and I've put double sided sticky on the part where it's going to land on the letters so it kind of makes it level and not wobbly depending on because there's foam underneath the families forever. And now I'm just going to play with tucking in all these little different bits of foliage. So I've cut out, I think I just used the two pinks, I didn't cut any out of the um, the white with the trees on. Um, I just cut out of the darker pink and then the lighter pink. And I'm just going to tuck them in all over. I don't think I end up using them all because um, there are just too many. 
and I'm trying to position them where there's not something of that colour already there. So it's just slightly, so it gives that difference, it gives that uh, difference in tone. So I'm just tucking them all in, finding different places to pop them. And then all I'm going to do is use some fine liner glue um, to tack them down really. I'm not even, I'm not going to take them back out again, they just sort of stay there. And I'm going to pop around with my glue um, and make sure that everything has just got a little bit of glue on. They're so light um, that they're not going to, as long as they've got a little bit of something on them to hold them in place, they're not going to move. So as you see here, I'm just going to lift them up, pop a little bit of glue underneath them at various points and just make sure that they're stuck down. So I've done some tucked into the letters as well. And then I've tucked some under, under and around the photograph. I've just got to stick all these down now. I love grey and pink together. It's not a combination that I've ever used before, I don't think, but I really like it. And it came on these papers. Um, it was the paper that inspired me, the Christmas tree paper, um, with the pink and the grey trees. So I thought, lovely combination that obviously works really well so I decided to use that so just going around the whole page and sticking them down trying not to stick down too much in case I do want to tuck anything else in um, later on I'm going to use up these little pink enamel dots that I found in my stash as well the last few on a page so get those used up I just kind of randomly place those around tuck them under a little bit I like doing that just tucking them under slightly and then just to add a little bit more sparkly detail I am going to wind up some um, metallic silver thread and I'm going to tuck it under different bits of foliage around the page. I'm going to put one under there. So the way I do this is just to cut a, a piece and kind of wind it around my fingers and then kind of rub my fingers together so that it all kind of, not knots, but, but it is not too organised, not too round. And there we go. That's the end of my layout today. A nice quick one. Came together really easily. Once I back that cut file, it came together beautifully and really, really easily. Thank you ever so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will be back again soon with some more inspiration uh, for 2020. Thanks for watching and be sure to pop over to the Cut To You shop and to have a look at some of the awesome cut files that are over there. Um, now, thanks very much for watching. Bye.